Crestliner has been building aluminum boats in Minnesota since 1946. And up in the North Woods, it's earned a reputation for building a really premium quality fishing boat. Now this company is making a move to a new market with a line of modified V fishing boats that are more popular in southern states. The VT-17 is a 17-foot, 7-inch bass boat that's all welded and all aluminum. There's not a splinter of wood in this boat to rot. In fact, one of the only components of the boat that isn't aluminum is this nice molded console. There's plenty of room under this console for even my long legs. And on the dash, we've got a full set of instruments and a Lorance X50 fish locator that's standard equipment. On the transom, this boat comes with a Mercury 60 horsepower four-stroke engine. Now yesterday we ran this boat in some really rough water, but as you can see, it's a beautiful day today here on Lake of the Ozarks. So we're going to go out and see how the boat feels on some smooth water. We ran the boat in a combination of very rough water and also some really nice glass calm water. In the rough water, the boat offered a good ride and tracked well in any direction. It skipped around a little bit in the rough water, but that's to be expected with this type of hull. In calm water, it carves nice, graceful turns and handles very well. Top speed was 35.9 miles an hour, and we registered the best fuel economy of 9.1 miles per gallon at 4,500 RPM, or about 26 miles an hour. Now, on a bass boat, the fishing action takes place on the forward casting deck. One nice thing about this crest liner is that they carry the beam of the boat pretty far forward on the bow, which allows the deck to be wider and gives us more elbow room up front. We've got our big rod locker that'll hold a seven and a half foot rod. There's a step up to make it easy to get on the deck. And under that step is a built-in cooler. And here we've got a really big storage compartment, large enough to hold a mooring cover, fenders, all your bulky gear. And you notice here that they've done a nice job reinforcing the hatch here so that it doesn't flex. We're out here on Lake of the Ozarks today with Steve Rock from Crestliner Boats. And Steve, one of the features I really like about the VT-17 is the setup you've got for the trolling motor control. Why don't you tell me about that? You know, bass fishermen are on their trolling motor all day and you know, whether you're seated or standing, when the pedal's on the deck, it forces you to keep your foot in a really uncomfortable position. So what we've done is we've created a little recessed pocket area that the pedal slips in, and now you can control the, the trolling motor at a much more comfortable position. The other thing that we've done is created two different base locations for your pedestal up at the bow. So for somebody who might be a little bit taller than myself, they're going to be a lot more comfortable in that back position. Doesn't this boat look great in this pretty blue paint? It's a tough, baked on finish that's going to last a long time. That's how Crestliner has always built its boats. That quality and an easy price make the VT-17 an outstanding value in this very competitive Mod V bass boat market.